this this AI is already deciphering what this ad is about and who is going to be interested in this type of ad. What is up, everybody? Hey, from time to time, I get asked questions about Facebook ad targeting and what's the best way to target this type of person or get leads for this type of business. And um, while I understand the question, my response is basically just leave it broad, demographics only, let your ad do the talking. Now, I want to talk about why that is, why I take that position, and why most of what you hear in terms of targeting is either outdated or it's people kind of tell, you know, telephoning the thing that they don't really understand what they're doing. They heard it from somebody, passed it on, so on and so forth to the point to where they're just regurgitating information that, again, is either outdated or really uh, does not work. So um, today I'm going to show you a piece of, well, a Cloud Vision API, which is basically a tool that's showing how AI today right now is already playing an active role in your marketing and you don't, you're not even aware of it. Okay. So I'm going to show you uh, something really cool about how AI is reading into the ads that you create, but I do want to take a moment and talk about the uh, concept of targeting more broadly and general, uh, generally, just because if you're going to be running ads for local businesses, you need to understand, Hey, when there's discussions about interest and targeting and behaviors and all these different things, when do those things make sense? And when do I just leave things simple and broad? Okay. Well, the reality is, is if you have a marketing budget for a small local business, that is not a budget where you're spending 30, 40, $50,000 a month, like some of these bigger brands will do. So, you know, those bigger brands are maybe going to be targeting groups of people where there's 20, 30, 40 million people in these groups. And in that regard, what they're doing to spend that volume of money is they're actually refining it down from 50 million people down to a group of two, three, four million people. And in that regard, it does make sense to layer on some interests and different things like that, just to get the size of the audience to a manageable place where you can actually, um, you know, get some good results out of your ads. But when we're talking about lead generation for local businesses, most of their customers are within a three to five minute, depending on the location, a three to five mile uh, radius of their business. So reducing the pool of prospects is not a wise idea. So let me go ahead and um, show you. So that's that's the general gist of what we're talking about here um, in terms of why you want to leave your targeting um, pretty open, pretty simple uh, when it comes to a local business. Now, this tool, um, Cloud Vision API, I'm going to go ahead and pull over just an ad I swipe from an ad library and show you what is happening actively already on your marketing campaigns, even though you may not know it. Okay. Now I drag this over and it's going to go through several different uh, columns here. One faces, objects, labels. It's basically, basically with AI going to tell us what this ad is even about just by the image. Now we've got uh, in this particular image, we're looking at faces. So they, they've identified the faces here. Okay. And they're seeing the joy in the face here. Okay. They'll, they'll tell us the sentiment of this, uh, of, of this, uh, ad. Okay. They'll tell us it's a person. They'll tell us it's about packaged goods. Okay. We'll go to labels, smile sleeve. Okay. So they're, they're identifying all the different parts of this image with AI. We'll go to the text from the image it's deciphering braces for kids in Illinois braces for kids in Illinois is in the text here. And it's also braces here. This is why you don't have to layer in any targeting because the ad all by itself, the images that you put in here are already telling the, you know, the algorithm who you're trying to get. So let's go ahead and we're going to get rid of that one. We'll pull over another one just to get ourselves you know, a couple different samples here. Okay, we'll pull over another ad I swiped. All right, get Invisalign. Okay, the sentiment, joy. Okay, that's good. We want that. Packaged goods. They know we're selling something. Nose, chin, smile. Logos, they've got the logo on there. And then they've got all, I mean, even they're identifying the offer and the information even from the image, not just the actual text itself. 
com, uh, considering Invisalign. Use an orthodontist you can trust, right? So these are these are elements. This this AI is already deciphering what this ad is about and who is going to be interested in this type of ad. So instead of going and targeting people who are interested in, I don't know, Invis Invisalign, I don't know if that's a targetable interest, uh, but who are interested in dentistry or anything like that, you're not going to do that. Okay. You're going to leave it open. You're going to let the image, your creativity, your images, your, your ad copy, you know, all of those things stand as, you know, or basically put them to the test and make them do the work for you. That's why when you hear me talking about targeting, I'm way more focused on psychographics and less on demographics. So thanks for watching. I hope this helps and I'll see you in the next video.